The brigade was, was established in, in uh, 1947. The post-war years were, were very, very, very dry, severe drought in the, in the local area. And um, the local community got together and uh, raised funds and purchased a, a blitz initially. We have Ken, Ken Cluett, still a member today, and he's been a member since uh, 1955. I was um, uh, 14 when I joined the brigade in 1955. First truck, well actually before the truck we had a, a trailer with a tank on and the pump on that was pulled by anyone's farm tractor before we got the first uh, blitz truck. It was a big improvement. Then when we got the uh, first purposely built fire truck, it was better again. I've been associated with 50 years, and I've you know, virtually grown up with most of the members. Um, my, both my boys were both deputies here at this brigade too, and my wife was a quiet officer. So again, it's a bit of pride, a lot of pride actually. I've just lost my licence, so I can't drive at all now. But uh, that's, that's one of the things that I uh, I really miss, really, we was driving that. I was a uh, driver, pump operator on, on that for years, and I just, just love doing it. We've been involved in major campaigns over the years, um, major fires through here. Uh, since my time, the, the 94 fires was it was a major campaign and we, we ran crews on both tankers for uh, it seemed weeks, weeks and weeks. In more recent times, of course, we had the Gossipers Mountain campaign. Once again, we ran those crews day and night for, I think we were 34 days or something. We've had members travel all over the state to help. Um, in fact, one of our tankers was, was deployed up north to the Northern Rivers in 2019 and it remained there for three months, um, being crewed by Hawkesbury people. The achievement still to still be running as smooth as it was 75 years ago. There's not many organisations that uh, keep running so smoothly year after year after year. <laughs>